This is a method of placing the sheet names on the worksheet. It involves using the cell function, the mid function, and the search function. Typing in equals cell, and we're using the argument file name. It places the file name in, including the full path statement. And you can see here at the end that also includes the active sheet. Now, to make this a little bit easier to read, we'll have it search for the beginning of the sheet name, evidenced by the right bracket. Now for that, we're using the search function. First argument is the fine text, which conveniently we've typed in here. And last second in the last required argument is where we're searching for it. Which in our case will be here. Thirty represents where it finds the right bracket. Thirty characters across from the beginning of the cell contents. Now since we only care about what happens to the right of the right bracket, one character to the right of the right bracket, we'll use the mid function. The first argument, text, is still this information. The starting number is where the right bracket is, or more accurately, one space to the right if we're putting in plus one. Now, number of characters is a required argument, and we just want all the characters, so we're just going to say whatever 100 characters it finds, which is more than we need, to the right. Now, we can do the whole thing, what are all the interceding steps, by putting in this formula, which is the same thing we did a moment ago, looking for the middle of the entire file name, searching for the right bracket, and adding one character to it, taking the next 100 characters it finds. And the benefit to all this is when the sheet name changes, the cell changes automatically. 